Hey guys and welcome, NV here, and I want to mention, depending on the version of Photoshop you're running, the appearances are going to be entirely different by a lot, just so you're aware. Especially if you're using CS5 or CS6, it will be tremendously different from a lot of features, but don't worry because everything I'm going to be doing in these videos will apply to you and they will be just fine, okay? You will have no problem following along, so don't worry because I'm not going to be using any of the features that would uh, cause us to have a problem in the future. Not right now, anyways. And what I mean by features like, for example, in this version, the newer versions, they grouped them together. If you had CS5 or 6, you would normally just see them like that right there. They would be in their own panel without being a folder. So these are new features, which are phenomenal, by the way. This helps you stay more organized and splits them up and makes it easier to uh, go right to where you need to be. But I just wanted to let you know there are some differences and they are very noticeable. But don't worry, like I mentioned before, we will have no issues because everything I'm going to be doing, you will be able to do with no problems. So that being said, what I want to do in this video is show you how to customize your own workspace. And if you're wondering what the workspace is, it's this very thing we're looking at right now, this screen right here, with all the panels and, and everything else. And to do this, we're going to go up to the tools panel to the left, right, left click, these little ridges, drag to the right and release. That detaches it from the side right here, okay? And I want to attach it to this side of the menu here. But I'm going to go ahead and do the same with this, detach this, and I'm going to drag the history panel over to this tab, to the properties and adjustments panel, and release. And now it's included into this one. And now I'm going to go ahead and go to this tools panel, and I'm going to drag it and wait for the highlight, like so, this blue line, and release. And now it's attached here. And I'm not going to go into too much technical detail here, but I want to mention that you can grab these tabs, any one of these tabs on any one of these panels and rearrange them as you want. Okay. You can also double click and that will collapse it. And if you click it one time, it will uh, expand it back again. Some of these features will vary depending on the version of Photoshop you're running. So. You can pretty much detach any one of these tabs and apply them to any one of these panels at any time, okay? I just wanted to mention that and show you that being performed, okay? And if there's one of these features you don't like or want here, you could collapse it by double-clicking it or uh, right-clicking and selecting Close, and that will remove it entirely. And if you wanted it back, we'll just go up to the toolbar up here to Window, select it, go all the way down to Libraries, and that will put it back where it was. You can also click this little white arrows here, and that will condense it or collapse the menus, the panels, to where you have more room on your, on your project screen here. Just so you're aware, you can also select this very top part of the panels click hold and drag and release and that will detach the entire uh, panels from the side and you can easily attach it to the other side if you wished like so okay just so you're aware of how that works but i'm going to go ahead and attach it back to the right i favor things to the right so there you go that was a brief rundown and let's say that's what you want and you want to save it and we can do that by going back to the toolbar all the way to the right, clicking this little workspace icon, going down to new workspace, and type in a name. I'm going to call it new, oops, new workspace, like so. And I'm going to select all of these. And as it says here, panel locations will be saved in this workspace. Keyboard shortcuts, menus, and toolbar are optional, but I'm going to save them all. And if we go back to Essentials, which is back up to the tool space, uh, workspace icon, going to Essentials, and I'm going to reset it by going down to the bottom and clicking Reset Essentials. Now that is our default workspace. 
I'm going to go to mine now that you're aware of how to customize and save your own workspace. Okay. So I'm going to go to mine and this is what I will be working from, from now on. Okay. And I like all of my stuff to the right. It keeps everything else in the center and to the left open so I can have a better visual focus on my projects and designs without being distracted with anything else attached over here. Okay. So if you wanted to delete a workspace that you've created, you can go up to here, back to the workspace icon, going down to delete workspace, selecting the workspace you want to remove, but take note, you cannot remove the one you have active, just so you're aware. So that's a good feature they've added. So go ahead and select the workspace you want and select delete, just like so. And that's it. And I think that's a phenomenal thing to know right from the beginning. So that way you're aware and you know how to customize it yourself and have it exactly as you want. And until next time, I will see you in the next video.